What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I wanted to show you guys a super cool email client that you can use on your Linux operating system. Let's get started. So as I stated in the intro of the video, I wanted to show you guys a super cool email client that you can use on your Linux operating system. And today I'll be installing it on Ubuntu 22.04, but there is a way to get this email client installed on other Linux distributions. But today I'm gonna show you guys this on Ubuntu 22.04, but the name of the application is Gary. And it's been around for a while and it's a super cool client. I, I really like the look and feel of the actual client. Now, I don't use it on a daily basis because on my main system, I use Thunderbird and I've been using it for years. That's why I haven't really switched over to a newer one, but I thought this one was super cool and I really wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, it's super cool. So let's hop over to the website right fast so I can show it to you guys and then we'll get it installed on Ubuntu 22.04. So let's check it out. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. All right, cool. So like I said, the name of the application is Gary and you can get it right off of the GNOME website. Uh, it's a GNOME application. It's made to run on GNOME uh, 3 desktop. But here's a little example of what it actually looks like. Uh, it's supposed to replicate somewhat of the way you look at email in Gmail. And that's why I call it uh, Gary. It's basically Gary email client. That's essentially the name of it. And so it kind of looks like, you know, it's got that G, so Gmail, you know what I'm saying? As well as known, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I think that's why they went with that name for it. But as you can see, it kind of looks like Gmail. Um, and it's a uh, super, like I said, it's, I keep saying that it, it's super cool. I think it's best I just go on and uh, show you guys how to actually get it installed. And I can log into one of my accounts and we can, you know, download a couple emails and look at them right fast and within the client so you guys can check it out. But uh, you can find email, you know, it has features for that. It's a typical, you know, email client, just like any other, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's just dope, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can have a conversation, you know, so all your emails can be linked together, which you could do that in other clients as well, but it looks it looks pretty cool in here as well. Um, and then also it says, write your way, Gary full feature, composer lets you send rich style text with images, links, and lists, but also sends lightweight, easy to read text messages. So that's super cool, you know what I'm saying? And you can, you know, quick setup, uh, it's very simple to set up and let's go ahead on and get over to my virtual machine so we can get it installed so I can show you guys. But this is where you get the documentation. Just wanted to at least show you guys that uh, as well as you can contribute to the project. Um, and then also let me show you guys the Git Labs page. Uh, so this is the actual project right there. Uh, the full project with all the same information there. And I forgot this is something else I wanted to show you guys. but. Um, and I wanted to show you how to install it. So you got a couple different options. So flat hub, uh, you can do that as well as the gnome software, you know, center, you could do it that way. If you had a software app installed as well as using the package manager, which is the way we're going to do it. Uh, that's the package name, super simple. So let's hop over. And like I said, you can install it on other distributions. So, uh, for door also as well. Uh, and then they also have an advanced installation portion right here. You can go through, you can also install, install it from source. So let's hop over to the virtual machine and get this thing installed. All right, cool. So I'm in my virtual machine. This is Ubuntu 22.04, like I stated, um, as well as, like I said, it already has a client on there. So Thunderbird, 
uh, I haven't opened it up or used it in any way but let's uh, go down open up the terminal and the first thing you want to do when installing new software is obviously update it so sudo apps updates and then uh, run the updates on your system just make sure your system is fully up to date this one is up to date I know for sure and let's go down and get it installed so let's clear that right fast and type the install command so sudo apps install and the package name which is gary and it will install all the dependencies for it as well as the application for us and it's not that big of an application you know it's it's very lightweight as far as the application and like i said it's made to run on gnome so it'll match all your themes you know and all that good stuff so let's go down in uh it, it should be finished in a second yeah there we go so let's go down exit out the terminal and now we have gary so let's go through and look for it um and then we might have to let me just go on type it in uh gary there we go so gary let's go down open this thing up and as i said you know it's made for gmail that's the first option but you also have outlook.com yahoo as well as other mail providers and let's go down and set this thing up as if you know i'm setting it up for the first time um and i forgot it's gonna you know log me into my known uh crap so uh sign in with google so i come back when i actually sign into it and everything all right, cool. So I'm logged into my keepitechie.gmail.com account. Uh, this is the one I share with you guys. Uh, so you guys can, you know, email me if you got any questions and all that stuff. As you can see, the Google security alerts and all that stuff, you know, is basically saying that I logged in from a system uh, using my account information. So uh, I was able to get into it. And also one thing about when logging into like known products or things that or or like apps that work with gnome it'll log you in on the system itself uh, you know how you can add online accounts um, so if you add those online accounts it'll automatically work with your email address you know regardless so that's super dope if you already logged in with it you know what i'm saying you ain't got to go through that process of logging in but since you know i went through that process i just kind of wanted to show it to you so this guy as you can see guys this is super clean uh i just double clicked on it uh and that basically <laughs> just shows you the email the current email it's it's very simple to use you know what i'm saying and just show you guys a little bit more right here is how you write a email so if i click right here um that'll go down and create a email for you all you gotta do is type in your email addresses subjects and start typing the email and like us like they said it's you know feature rich you know what i'm saying rich text uh you can also do plain text uh you can also do other you know uh um emails like cc in someone or blind cc if you want to reply to you know all that good stuff so that's basically how you send an email and then i wanted to kind of show you guys the you know preferences uh so accounts that'll bring up that account page you can log into other accounts if you want to uh and then also under preferences uh you have you know basic uh preferences it's not hard um uh, automatically select new message uh display conversation preview if you want to uh use google key email shortcut or single key email shortcut and then watch for new mail when closed and then we also have plugins so they have uh sent sounds uh gmail templates or your email templates uh mail merge you can merge your email uh as well as message and menu which yeah we don't need that uh but those are a few of the plugins that you have for it uh you also have your different mailboxes so you got your stored important draft you know outbox sent all mail and it's essentially a copy of what's on your gmail account and that's pretty much it i didn't want to go too deep you can archive your email from here you can delete email from here that's that's pretty much it it's not that difficult to actually use uh you can add labels uh you can create or move to different folders if you want to mark conversations like uh, as important you know all the basic you know things now 
Thunderbird can get a little bit more complex. You got a whole lot more, lot more features in Thunderbird, but this is a basic email client for normal users. You know what I'm saying? A lot of stuff I do, you know, it requires a little bit more. Like I have, you know, keys to send encrypted email, uh, things like that. You know, send later options under Thunderbird. Uh, it has a little bit more features and plugins that you can play around with and add within uh, Thunderbird, unlike this application. But this application, like I said, is mainly for your everyday, you know, computer user that's not gonna be doing much, you know, or crazy things with your email. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And like I said, go down and check out Gary. It's super cool. Like I said, it's a dope email client. It's very simple to use. It's easy for new people that are getting into Linux. You can just log into your accounts, you know what I'm saying? And all your email will be there and it'll work perfectly right under this client. So please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave comments down in the comments below. And of course, keep it techie.